Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I would like to share uh, terms used in the kitchen um, while cooking. Some kitchen terminology and um, what they mean. So that whenever I'm in the kitchen cooking and I'm using certain terms, you will understand where I'm coming from. So without further ado, let's get into the video guys. The terms here and um, their abbreviation um, the camera on them so you can see you can um, pause and read um, along as um, you wish so or as you choose to um, okay so the word al dente used um, when cooking when you whenever you hear someone says al dente it means, as stated there, description for the doneness of pasta cooked until tender but firm to the bite. Okay, so it's talking about, um, they're describing pasta um, when it's um, done um, cooking. So, and then the term bake is to cook where, which uh, all of us knows, is to cook food in an oven with dry heat, bake food uncovered for a dry crisp top breads cakes they're talking about whenever you're baking cakes for example bread cakes cookies chicken or covered to retain moisture moistness vegetables casseroles stews and the term base means um spooning when you're you spoon liquid over food okay pan juices over turkey during cooking to keep it moist and then the term batter is an uncooked mixture of flour, eggs, liquid, and other ing ingredients. Batter is thin enough to be spooned or poured. Um, in bracket there, muffins, pancakes. And here we have blanch. Blanch means um, blanch is when you're when you plunge the food into boiling water for a brief time to preserve color texture and nutritional value or to remove the skin vegetables fruits nuts boil means um, is when you heat when you heat liquid until bubbles rise continuously and break on the surface and steam is given off in a rolling uh, boil the bubbles form rapidly and the surface rolls here we have bread um, when they say to bread like you bread something you're going to um, coat, like for example, you coat a fish, coat a food, fish, meat, vegetables by dipping into a liquid, beaten egg or milk, then into breadcrumbs, crackers, crumb, cracker crumbs or cornmeal before frying or baking. Um, also, it also means um, to coat, you could bread or coat the same way I did as in the, the fried chicken video. Um, the term broil means um, cook directly under red hot heat heating unit. Brown is cook quickly. Uh, hold on, let me see if you're seeing here. See as I read. And um, brown is when you cook quickly over high heat, causing the surface of the food to turn brown. Car caramelize is melt when you melt sugar slowly over low heat until it becomes a golden brown car caramel flavored syrup or sprinkle granulated powdered or brown sugar on top of a food, then place it under a broiler and the sugar is melted and caramelized. Chill is placing the food in the refrigerator into in the refrigerator until it's thoroughly cold. Chop is cut food into coarse or fine irregular shape pieces using a knife, food chopper, blender, or food processor. So coat is cover the food evenly with crumbs or sauce. And then cool is to allow the hot food to stand at room temperature until it reaches a desired temperature. Placing hot food on a wire rack will help it cool more quickly. Occasionally stirring will help um, a mixture cool more quickly and evenly. For example, like um, tea, you stir it, right? Um, 
Okay, so core, remove the center of a fruit, apple, pear, for example, pineapples, cores contain small seeds, apple, pear, or are woody, pineapple. Covers, place a cover, which we all know, place a cover lid, plastic, wrap, or aluminum foil over container food. Crisp tender is description of doneness for vegetables cooked, so they retain some of their crisp texture. Crush is pressed in to very fine particles for example crushing a clove or garlic with a chef's with a chef's knife or a garlic press cube cut into squares half inch or large using a knife cut up cut food into small irregular pieces using a kitchen scissors uh, hold on i'm losing you here on camera where we cut up okay um yeah cut up cut food into small irregular pieces using a kitchen scissors or a knife or a large food into smaller pieces broiler fried chicken dash less than 1 teaspoon of an ingredient like sometimes you see i'm i'm like you know put in the one, two, three dashes of salt, that kind of thing. But it's giving you the measured amount here, less than one eight teaspoon of an ingredient. Uh, deep fry or French fry, cook in hot fat that's deep enough to float the food. Okay, and um, it says there we should also uh, be looking into fry, pan boil, pan broil, pan fry, saute. Okay. And um, the deglaze, after pan frying a food, remove excess fat from the skillet, then add a small amount of liquid broth, water, wine, for example, and start to loosen browned bits of food in the skillet. This mixture is used as a base for sauce. Dice, cut into small squares, smaller than a half inch, using a knife. Dip, moisten, or coat a food by submerging it covering all sides dissolves to a dry ingredient flavor gelatin for example yeast sugar into a liquid ingredient boiling water hot water tea for example until the dry ingredient dissolves okay and let me see if i can um give you the term for another page here before my the 15 minute runs out okay so here I have poach cook in simmering liquid just below the boiling point for example eggs fish pound flattened boneless cuts of chicken and meat using a, a meat mallet or the flat side of a meat pounder until they're a uniform thickness Puree. Blend food until it's smooth using a blender or food processor. Reduce boil liquid uncovered to evaporate some of the liquid and, and intensify the flavor of the remaining liquid. Reduce heat. Lower the heat on the stove top so that a mixture continues to, slow, to cook slowly and evenly without scorching. Refrigerate. Place food in the refrigerator to chill or store it. Roast. Cook meat uncovered or on a rack in a shallow pan in the oven without adding liquid. Roll. Flatten dough in into a thin even layer using a rolling pin, cookies, pie crust. Roll up. Roll a flat food spread with a filling or with the filling placed at one end beginning at the at one end until it is tube shaped jelly roll enchilada for example saute cook over medium high heat in a small amount of fat using a frequent tossing or turning motion and uh, you know you see also deep fry pan um deep fry fry pan pan boil pan fry uh scald heat liquid to just below the boiling point and tiny bubbles forming at the edge a thin 
skin will form on the top of scalded milk. Score. Score is lightly cutting the surface of a food about quarter inch deep using a knife. Scoring helps cooking and flavoring, or it may be used for parents, meat, yeast, bread. Sear is brown meat quickly over I eat. Se um, season, add flavor with salt, pepper, herbs, spices, and seasoning mixes. Uh, shred, cut into long. Thin pieces using the round, smooth holes of shredder, a knife or food processor, simmer. Cook in liquid on the stove top just below the boiling point while bubbles rise slowly and break just below the surface. Simmering usually is done after reducing heat from, from, a, from a boil. Skim. Remove the top layer of fat or foam that floats on top from a soup or broth using a spoon, L ladle or skimmer, a flat utensil with holes in it. Slice, cut into flat pieces about the same size, bread for example and meat. Snip, cut into very small pieces with a kitchen scissors. Soft peaks, egg whites, or whipping cream um, beaten until the moist, glossy peaks are rounded or curl when you lift the batter, the beaters from the bowl. And um, it shows there, you should see also the stiff peaks. When it says see also, I guess it means you could, you know, do more research on that or read up more on that area. Soften. Uh, means to let um, cold so cold food stand at room temperature or microwave at low power setting until no longer hard butter, margarine, cream, uh, cheese. Steam, cook food by placing it on a rack or in a special steamer basket over a small amount of boiling water in a covered pan. Stew, cook slowly in a small amount of liquid for a long time. Stewed fruit, for example, beef stew. Stiff peaks, egg whites, or whipping cream beaten until moist, glossy peaks. Stand up straight when you um, lift the beaters from the bowl. Uh, stir fry, a Chinese method of quickly cooking similar size pieces of Food in a small amount of hot oil over high heat, lifting and stirring constantly with a turner or large spoon. Strain, pour, which we all know, pour a mixture of liquid through a finely sieve or strainer to remove larger particles. Tear, break into pieces with your fingers, toast, brown light, lightly in a toaster oven, broiler or skillet, for example, um, bread, coconut, nuts. Toss, mix, mix ingredients lightly with a lifting motion. Salads, pasta with sauce, for example. It means to beat ingredients to add air and increase volume until the ingredients are light and fluffy. For example, cream in and uh, egg, cream egg whites. Zest, the outside colored layer of citrus fruit, oranges, lemons that contains aromatic oils and flavor. It also means to remove the outside layer of citrus fruits in fine strips using a knife, citrus zester, or vegetable peeler. Or also the same way you saw me um, great, great in the, um, the zest is like, for example, great in the, the lime when baking the cake, guys, the lime rain. And guys, um... Thanks for joining me in another video. So guys, if you like this video, please give the video a thumbs up and um, don't forget to uh, to share the video and um, and also comment down below. Okay guys, so see you in the next video.